despite the pronouncement and DOH that they're no longer prioritizing swapping itong mga PCR tests for for I know for SIs, our local government has put up its own fund for our own PCR swap tests. We we we're actually in contact with Divine Word Hospital or Saint Paul Hospital for this one. So Sagot talin ni Jeyo, ma'am. Sa Sagot talin ni Jeyo. Sagot talin ni Jeyo. Because we cannot risk, no, nga di rin ang mag-ES. Pag sinabi nila na, na uuwi dito, let's oh. assume, right now kasi we have set up a call center for Paranas LSIs. All LSIs are actually monitored by our LGU. What I did is, kung may nakakalusot, dito po ang matitigas ang pulo na hindi nag-inform sa amin. But prior to coming home to Paranas, we've set up already a system na pupunta ko nira ini, we know when they're arriving, what vehicles they are, um, they use, or what vehicles they transported them coming home, etc. So even in the middle of the night, nakatrap na ako ng mga LSIs, unless we don't really have knowledge kasi pusilit sila, no? But basically, may na kami naka-arrange na system. Now with that, LSIs are only required now under the law, pinina or orders natin from the national, in quarantine lang. Ang pinaka-basic requirement is kayo na bahala, quarantine nyo na sila. Pero kami na mabili. Gusto namin itens kahit kung may seven sa isang pamilya na umuwi. Isa naman lang tao sa Cordoba, ang pinaka-bakas, ang pinaka-labas, matest namin. Kasi they're all together, they're all one. Tapos mari integrate na communities, you don't know, it will, will ano, they will capture the virus. And the sad part there is, ililet go lang naman na after 14 days, and we don't know. That could spur a positive way. Despite of number of cases again, diba? And we don't want that to happen. That's why together an um, municipal interagency task force, of course, nakipag-usap na kami sa this week we're starting that. No? May gana pa ni set up na protocols, how we're going to do it. Tapos, amo na like of the, the only missing link there is the signing of MOA. We're all good to go and read it. Mayroon meron ka expecting na tiyabot yung LSI? Ma- uh, ano po? Expecting na maabot na? Marami po! Uh, so, on the 13th, we have about, uh, I think, 30. On the 17th, may maabot. So, sunod-sunod na po ito. No? Because we have lo- loosened up our restrictions on travel. Diba? If you notice, mm-hmm. nakaka-travel na rin naman talaga ang mga tao. So, tapos they have encouraged from the urban centers, let's say Manila or Cebu, they encourage na nila pag paulin ang mga tao. So with this, LGUs are helpless and we don't have option but to accept kung hindi nun makabot because it's not also good not to accept them. Mm. Diba? It's so inhuman kung hindi nila tatang. Buray ko ang liyo rin nga. Tester na tapos dapat may resort dahil. So ito yung recommendation. That's the problem, no? So ang mga results that came in were tests from since June 30. Okay? Because overwhelmed and TBRMC rest so right now, you, you can also understand the plight there. No? How many how many thousands na nakapube yan na itira in the test. So with that, nagbabagal ang turnaround ng results natin. Affected kami. In fact, Bideret kami ng mga tao dito. We are being berated, we are being accused of a lot of things here. Kasi sabi nila, 14 days lang, I'm already on my 17th. Hindi namin pinapalabas kasi wala pang result. The problem is, we cannot demand that from DOH. Kasi we understand also the very big ano, number, the lines there that's queuing for the, for the results. So, ang gagawin na lang kami, we wait. Actually, before you came here, I was drafting already a, a, an application for re- release. Ang tawag namin dito, we're also devising this, parang din ang like, gumagawa kami dito. We're devising this one na if you want to be released or even without the swab, you take the risk, no? Because we don't want to release you until there's a swab result. But we cannot hold you also because para kaamot, you're also right in saying that upon 40 days expiration, you should go. Except when you have already rendered positive a rapid test because we have the right to hold you again. Kasi rapid test positive kay, you may have the infection, diba? Especially IgM positive. So ang gagawin ng paranas, if you want to go out pending your, if you got, want to be released pending your results, we will let let you execute an application for release pending your swab result 
and also an undertaking. Kasi dapat you have to promise us that you will be in home isolation. You will not be in contact with a lot of people. Kasi maparayo na ito, gawas mo na. So dapat may declare obligation sa ira sarili. Ngayon na po ira community or ira family. Monitor, monitor ka po ni Iran. Yes, Ang ira mga barangay, barangay health worker. Yes. So may ira po po. ng national nga logistic para sumabit dito na ano. No, it should also be the national brains working now. Kung ano ang mangyayari sa amin. Kasi kami ang tumod na imbudo. We are the panel here. Everything else goes down oh, no. to the local. So, 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 ang dami nilang, dami nilang rules. Tapos kami lang lahat ang gagawa, di ba? So ngayon nabababa na yung mga tao. Anong available na tulong natin para sa kanila? Kasi hindi kaya ng local government. Facilities pa lang ng isolation, hindi ko kaya. 
ilan lang yung mga classrooms na yan. Isang tao, isang classroom lang. Hindi namin pinagsasama yung mga tao sa isang classroom. Kadamo ito. O, ano yan? Yung pinakamang. Yes, Challenging. Oh, sobrang yes. dami po. Oh, oh, oh. Imagine, no? CR alone. Hindi naman hmm. lahat ng mga classroom may CR. Tapos hindi po lahat ng mga classroom may magandang classroom. Hindi lahat ng school may magandang classroom. So, lahat yan na uh, tubig. Wala rin access lahat ng Kasi hindi naman siya talaga uh, oh, residential na may mga access lahat ng tubig. Siyempre, lahat na yan in-address ng local government para hindi kayo yung kakalila. Mag-open na yung mga classes. No? I don't think we, I don't think there is big danger kung hindi, na, hindi natin bubuksan ang klase for now. People can learn. no People, students, students can learn through a lot of ways, in a lot of ways. No? And I hope they will rethink their position. Kasi may hirapan talaga tayo to control the, the virus kung, kung papayagan pa natin yung classes. Oh, na nandito pa tayo sa individual pandemic. And they're saying it's not even the second wave now, di ba? Oo. Oh, so, sobrang patong-patong po yung... Okay. Ang mga paranas nun, binahayo naman na magpo-opera po. Hanyata na yung mga palasiya, naging papalusat, itong na national, na regional, na municipal task force sa COVID-19. No? Pinakamakuri ko talaga yun yung trabaho. And mabantayan niya, hindi rin maglarag ang kaso ng COVID na atong mga bukto. Ngayon, habang lang po binahayo talaga ang iyo po operasyon niya ng pagsunod ng mga patakaran. Ang mga tikang pakaharayo ng lugar, so ang tikang ng Manila, ang pinaka-minimum na ginaaraw naman sa iyo, ako ang pagsumat sa iyo local government, pinaagi yung pagtawag at ang mga hotlines or pagkontak ka ako ng Facebook account ng the Municipal Government of Paranas Summer na mauli na kamo para mabantayan ang iyo pag-abot, mapripararad kung hain ka mo, ibubutang ang mga isolation facilities na napasabot natin ang mga barangay ng iyo pamilya. Kaya yung pinaka-importante talaga ang iyo pag-bullying, di rin na para iyo pag-garingon, pero parang komunidad na iyo uulihan din niya para atas. Pero natuugliwat ako nga kaya na ito nini, basta maging positibo kita, ako na muna ang pag-bullying, no? di rin ang negatibo. Ang aming lang maging negatibo kita, ang virus, pero positive attitude on the right, uh, the right measures or ways to help loosen up our problem talaga sa atas. So I hope